meteorologist Stacey Donaldson, and yes, we have beautiful conditions across Colorado, and it looks like this will last for a little while. Now, we do have chances for rain and snow moving into the high country over the weekend, but it looks like it will remain dry here for the front range, and it's all thanks to a system coming in from California. Big cold front out this way is headed our direction, so by the time we get into tomorrow morning, we'll see some moisture from some energy impulses coming off of this front and out ahead of it into southwestern Colorado. So around Telluride, Durango, chances for snow early tomorrow morning, and then it becomes more, more widespread as we go through Saturday afternoon and evening. I think for the most part here across the Front Range Saturday night, the winds will become a little more gusty, and we can't rule out a few sprinkles up toward Fort Collins and toward Colorado Springs, but for the most part, I think this is going to die out pretty quickly and move on. So we are left with some beautiful weather for Sunday and into Monday as well. There is, however, another system coming our way straight from California for the middle of next week. But our lows for tonight will mostly be in the 30s here for the Front Range, 20s and 30s for the higher elevations, and for the western slope temperatures in the 40s. If you're in southeastern Colorado, we'll have 30s for you as well. Tonight, 39 degrees for your overnight low here in Denver, mostly clear skies, and then tomorrow, upper 60s during the day once again. A little windy at times as that system comes on through Colorado. But on the seven-day forecast, fantastic weather all weekend. We'll have temperatures in the 50s and 60s as we go through the next few days. And then as we go into the end of the week, we'll actually be coming out of a system that will bring chances for rain and snow on Tuesday and Wednesday. So keep that in mind. I'm meteorologist Stacy Donaldson.